Hello and welcome to our video on using curves to create surfaces in MaxSurf. Let's suppose we're starting a new design and that we have an existing table of offsets which we can load from a markers file. In this case uh, you'll see the markers file contains some tab delimited data with the name of the station, the longitudinal, transverse and vertical location of each offset or marker. If we look at that in 3D in MaxSurf, we can see that we have a set of markers for a workboat with a chine. First we need to just clean up that marker data a bit, so we use our MaxSurf commands to select the existing markers, uh, automatically group them together by station so that uh, all the markers on a station are grouped together, and sort each station so it's sorted from the centre line around to the shear line. Uh, if we turn on our option to connect together our marker stations, we can see that uh, our markers are correctly sorted and they're also grouped together at each station. Next, uh, I'm going to select all of those markers and from the curves menu, I'm going to use the command to automatically fit a curve to each one of the marker stations. In the first instance, I'm going to make that curve linear in stiffness and we'll see later we can change that stiffness if we wish. So that automatically creates a series of NURB curves which fit their way around each station. If we go to a body plan view, we can zoom in and we can actually see that we have a chine uh, in the middle of the model. And at the moment we have one continuous curve that goes all around each section. So what I actually want to do is select all the points on the outside of the chine. And so I'm moving my way forward on the boat, selecting all of the outside points on the chine. And what I'm going to do then is break these curves so that I've got separate curves for the top side and uh, separate curves for the chine and bottom. So I use the break curve command and now I have a separate curve at the top and a separate curve at the bottom. If I repeat that process uh, for each of the control points on the inside of the chine, again now I'm working my way from the front of the boat down to the back so I can quickly select all of those points and if I just zoom in a little we can select the inside of the last few points uh, down at the aft end. Again I can use the break curve command. So now we have a curve on each station for the top sides, a curve for the chine and a curve for the bottom. So if we go to a profile view I'm just going to temporarily lock all those curves to hide the control points and I'll hide my markers. So now we can see that uh, we can individually select all of the curves at the top of the design. And uh, I'm going to change their stiffness uh, to be flexible now so it's a better fit. And if I go to the plan view, show half of the boat, I can then uh, also select all the curves along the bottom, like so, and also change their stiffness to be flexible. So now if I look at that in 3D, we've got a set of curves here that we can fit a surface to. So uh, starting uh, forward up here, I'm going to uh, select all of those sections that lie on the top sides. And now I'm going to use the skin surfaces, uh, skin curves command to create the surface. So I have some options here about the uh, stiffness of the surface that I create. Uh, how fair it is and uh, I'm going to sort those curves automatically and if I turn on the rendering you can see that we've automatically created a nice quality surface. If we look at the net you can see it's a good quality surface. It doesn't have lots and lots of control points like some CAD systems. The emphasis in Max Surf is on creating high quality surfaces. Uh, if I repeat that process uh, with the bottom curves I can uh, select all of my curves along the bottom surface Again, use the skin curves command. Same uh, settings on longitudinal stiffness and sorting, and I can create my bottom surface. And then finally, if I go back into my body plan view, I can actually, uh, in this view, automatically select all of the curves. Let's just hide our surfaces for a minute. And let's show all of our curves. Now I can easily automatically select all of those small curves that define the chine and I can use the skin curves command. This time uh, I'll 
have it fall longitudinally but I only need a linear curve transversely and uh, I can create my chine surface. So going back to 3D and showing all of our surfaces and rendering we can see that we've made all of the surfaces that make up this design. And I could then go on and do further work to uh, construct some more surfaces in the bow area. That uh, concludes our brief demonstration of using curves to create surfaces. Thanks for watching.